Hi, today I want to continue our series of top factors that stop growth. And today I want to talk about, we've got a great strategy, but we might not have the right team. And we run into this all the time. My name is Gary Braun. I'm with Pivotal Advisors. That's our topic for today. We got a good team. We had a good team all along and all of a sudden, maybe they're not the right team anymore. So there's some questions. If you're the leader, executive or sales leader that you should be asking, what skills does your team have? And do you have a good track record of hiring for those particular skills? And the skills that you have on the team, are they still the right skills for your organization based on where you're at? Let me explain that last one. If you're a brand new organization and you're trying to grab as much market share as you can, you're trying to land accounts wherever you can, that's one kind of a seller. And that's a very utilitarian type of a person who can do lots of things and wear lots of hats. As you grow up and you get bigger and you get more specialized, you get process in there, those people don't necessarily fit as well anymore. You need a different kind of a salesperson. Maybe you started with small accounts, now you're working with big accounts. You might need a different kind of a salesperson. So start with, what do I need? Define really clear what's the expectations for the job. The job may have used to be, let's work with existing clients and new clients and check out new markets and everything else. But today, your job is to grow up the accounts that you landed. Or it might be go find new accounts, or it might be go after a new market, but sit down and talk to your team about your expectations. What should they be doing today? They may have changed over the years. Define what they need to be good at doing. Is it hunting? Is it farming? Is it, now we're in a commodity market. At the start we weren't, but now we're in a commodity market. We have to do different things. Is it about developing partnerships? Is it about generating their own leads? Be really clear about what skills you need and then evaluate whether they have them or not. I like to get it down to the four to six things that are the most crucial that they need to be successful in the job as it stands today. And then rate your team. Name those four things and then rate your team and see how they're doing against them. It might be eye-opening. You might realize that people who have been stars for a long time might be underperforming because they don't have the skills you need right now as your strategy and as your company evolves. So now you have to decide whether I wanna improve them, develop them, reassign them, hire new skills in. That's a whole, whole different conversation. So you're not sure if you got the right team or not? I would love to talk to you. Please come to our website at pivotaladvisors.com. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, click like, uh, follow us on all the different social medias. In any regards, I would love to talk to you and understand, are there ways that we can make sure that you keep growing and that you have the right team in place? Thanks for watching.